Yo guys, what is up? It is Ace4287, and I am back bringing you guys another video on Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Uh, nice little gameplay here on Raid. Uh, at the beginning, I don't start off too hot, kind of really at all, but I do get all my streaks and do very well at the end. My final score, or what I go, is, uh, you guys will see. But, uh, I'm gonna be talking about this gameplay is, and I just snipe my first two uh, like deaths, I, yeah, my first two deaths, and then I changed, but, anyway, so, well, I'm just gonna talk about how to really play, uh, Black Ops 2, because, yes, there is a way to play the game correctly, and how, a game to play, how to play it good, so, uh, let me tell you guys, uh, score streak wise, it's obviously gonna depend on how you are, I always like running a UAV or VSAT, uh, those are definitely what I run, is, either one of those uh, because uh, knowing where the enemies are is honestly one of the most important things to get kills uh, counter UAV I don't really like using those because it's kind of a waste of a kill there's like six kills to finally or 600 score points finally get it I don't find that worth it at all so I had yeah, that was bullcrap stupid prone blocked but I would definitely go with uh, UAV and not the counter UAV. So obviously, depending on who you are, if you got that UAV on, maybe slap on a hailstorm and lightning strike, or maybe put a hunter killer and hailstorm or just something like that. Uh, before uh, I try, I like really figured out a strategy how to play this game. I always ran UAV, hunter killer, care package, or UAV, hailstorm, lightning strike. Those were my setups. But now I'm going for the lot higher streaks and as you see here I got uh, my VSAT, my Escort, and my Lodestar which I do end up getting those score streaks and Dolphin Diving a lot here, a couple of those were actually not on purpose but the others were to get out of the way so let's go class setup guys um, I'm a rusher that's for sure I definitely use some machine guns are my favorite type of gun in this game uh, for many reasons, uh, Scorpion is a very close-up submachine gun, and it will destroy anyone at close range if you uh, are accurate with it. But MP7 is probably the best submachine gun for uh, medium range, uh, if you don't count the Peacekeeper DLC. The Peacekeeper was uh, Peacekeeper is very good for uh, medium range, and can even get up to those longer ranges. As the longer ranges with the MP7 will be kind of hard, but if they have their back turn, you can uh, shoot them from where you are, uh, depending on how far it is, or you can run up in a little and start shooting at them. But as I said, MP7 is a very good gun. Uh, oh, Dolphin Diver right there is a very good gun for medium range and close range, which is why I use it. Uh, the PDW and that uh, got patched, so I used to love the PDW. Now it's really not that good. But let's go attachments for this. I'm I uh, run a I run a silencer every time. Almost every everyone runs a silencer on the MP7 if they know what they're doing, and that's definitely what I would go with. I go with it every time. I go with silencer, and for my second attachment, I always use quick draw because that run in uh, that uh, aiming in time is a lot better. So I would go with quick draw, or I would go with extended mags. Uh, Allier, uh, he uses extended mags and silencer, and no, I did not get this class set up from him, but I would just recommend using those kill streaks, or those, yeah, those attachments. Just any of those, use two, just always use silencer, and you're the one after that. It depends on what you like. Uh, you don't even have a silencer at all. You definitely don't need a sight for this. I honestly think it makes a gun worse. A sight for the MP7 is really, it's not needed at all, uh, as it, as it being a very well, a very good iron sight gun. And so, just I would recommend you don't put a sight on it. Uh, save an attachment or a slot out of your ten slots. A stupid tree got in the way, and that guy took my kill. But like I said, those are attachments. Perk wise, toughness. Toughness, uh, hardline, and uh, dexterity. Dexterity is very good with the MP7. Dexterity is very good with any submachine gun. And for your second perk, so that's your third slot. Just always use dexterity or tactical mask. It's up to you. Second slot, I always use toughness and add perk to greed and put on scavenger. And this idiot right here didn't even see me. But in perk one, 
I always put on Hardline because I play Arms Race, or I slap on Perk 1 Greed and put on Ghost 2 because I like being hidden and by enemy UAV, so I can kind of sneak around the map better. But like I said, MP7 is a very good gun, medium and short range. So went 22 and 2 here, guys. My two deaths were at the very beginning. So uh, please leave a like on this video if you haven't already done so. Please subscribe. Uh, this is my MP7 recommendation, and thanks for watching, guys. This has been Ace4287, and goodbye.